Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Wednesday, February the 19th. Today I want to test a, a low noise amplifier. This is the LNA here. I'm doing some experiments in the amateur radio band of 433 megahertz or 70 centimeters. So I wanted a, an LNA and preferably a bandpath filter to stick at the back of an antenna just before the coax. So I found uh, this little guy online. I ordered two of them. This is the uh, printed circuit board one, and there's another one coming with a metal case. Uh, I wasn't too sure from the data sheet. There's really not too much data on the amplifier other than the gain's about 22 dB. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't too sure whether it had a low-pass filter built in, but when I tested it, uh, it didn't. So what I'm doing today is I'm using the Pluto SDR as a generator, an amateur radio signal generator, and I'm driving it from uh, GNU Radio. I've got all the details in the blog post. So basically there you have the uh, Pluto sync and uh, I've got a GUI range variable for the gain and a GUI range variable for the frequency. So I can run the, uh, the signal generator, let's say from 100 megs to 800 megs to test the amplifier. Now the amplifier, <clears throat> I wasn't too sure whether you could feed it from a bias T voltage. So rather than blow it up not knowing, I just used the uh, VCC and the ground connection there. And for five volts, um, I use this little guy here. I got this at the uh, Toronto Film Festival in 2017. What it is, is just a lithium uh, battery pack for charging your cell phone. So that's great. So it has USB connection, it gives you five volts. So I took a USB cable and I cut the end off and I soldered it to there. So that's the power source for the amplifier. So right now I'm feeding uh, the Pluto into the uh, GNU radio. Sorry, I'm feeding the Pluto into the uh, spectrum analyzer and I'm going to figure out what level of uh, Pluto will give me minus 40 on the spectrum analyzer then I'll put the amplifier in and see what the difference is which will be the gain because you'll, you won't need as much gain from here to give you the same level with the amplifier. On the spectrum analyzer I've got a uh, DC block and I've got a, a pad just in case to protect the spectrum analyzer because you never know. So let's fire up the um, just to give you an example here, let's fire up the GNU radio. Okay, so I'm looking at 400 megahertz. And there's the range variable. So I've set it at 400 megahertz there. And for the gain, let's crank the gain up. I think it should give you around 66. At 66 um, gain, relative gain, this gives you minus 40. Okay. Now when I stick in the amplifier, uh, instead of 66, I'll only need, let's say, 22 or 23 dB less than that. So let's say 44 or 40, 43 or 44 dB. So let's do that. Okay, so now you can see that the Pluto now is feeding the input to the LNA and the LNA is feeding the spectrum analyzer. And there's the battery pack feeding the LNA. And over here, you can see that we've got the reference level of minus 40, but the relative gain now, instead of 66, it's much less because the amplifier's gain's kicked in. So it's, uh, let's say it's reading around 43. So basically what we can do then, and I've got the uh, details in the blog post, is we can sweep through, let's say from 100 megs to 800 megs to see, um, to see how wideband the amplifier is. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna be able to find a, a bandpass filter, which I will add to the LNA uh, to give me uh, gain plus um, filtering around uh, the seven cent 70 centimeter band. So that's the uh, objective.